Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your love reading for January 8th to January 14th. This is for the sign of Leo. I have done a general reading if you want to check that out as well. This may not resonate as it's not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. try to remember to focus this in. I've been having a hard time remembering that lately. I don't know why I've been doing this for so long, but there must be a reason for it, right? You had this in the other reading too, different deck of course, but there's some kind of um, disheartening energy around you okay it's like somebody is acting very childish maybe acting pretty hastily not thinking with their words whether it's you or the other person i don't know but it's definitely not making you happy okay there's there's some kind of um angst okay somebody is not making you happy all right with this sun card there's like, there's, <laughs> I know that's the problem with doing readings back to back. It's like the other one feeds right into this one. It's actually a good thing, but then again, it, it, it uh, definitely coincides in a big way. There's lack of stability, lack of security here. I feel like many of you are, are thinking about creating something new, all right? As far as new love coming in, it doesn't appear like new love is coming in, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to pretend with this first poll that it is. It feels like you guys are thinking about becoming free, but you haven't done it yet. Or maybe you have. Maybe you have just become free from a situation. Could have been a third-party situation. Maybe you have to make a choice between two people. That could certainly be the case. Or somebody that you're dealing with might have to make a choice between some two people. There is a, a feeling of shedding the old, like having this awareness that something isn't what right. You guys know that something isn't right. You also feel like... You know, something is dying. You know, something is ending. Whether I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a feeling that you have inside of yourself. I don't know. Something is ending. Something is. It's not ending like at the end of it. It's dying right now. It's in the process of dying. Okay, a feeling is in the process of of dying. It's like things are unbalanced, and perhaps there's been some kind of uh, pretending here. There's may there could be even some addictions at play. Maybe somebody is overindulging in your life. They're overindulging doing something, and it's definitely not making you very happy. There's there's definitely a feeling of things that are happening that aren't very nice. Okay, something's happening that is kind of messed up. Okay, there's like dishonesty okay there's dishonesty here there's some conflicts uh spitefulness maybe somebody is judging situations a little bit too hard harshly i do see that there's anxiety de depression um losing sleep over this unhappiness okay in this lack of security it's like i i'm not secure at this point in my life and you may be even trying to escape this feeling of uh being insecure this feeling of unhappiness but with drugs alcohol eating whatever it's like i'm, I'm just gonna pretend that this isn't happening right now okay um There's a there's closure that's needed, okay, with these nines. Nines are about closure. Some kind of closure is needed to lead you towards your ultimate wish fulfillment. It's like you have bigger dreams. I know that there's more for me. I mean, you could be even attending a celebration this week, okay, where somebody... Um, You know, it could be some kind of anniversary, it could be something like that, but there is some kind of celebration here. It's not yours. It's not yours, but I feel like there's some kind of celebration coming in this week. Um, 
I don't know where that came from, but I felt the need to tell you that. So whatever. Um, with this magician card, I see that it's about creating what you want, creating your dreams, using your resources to follow your dreams instead of staying stuck in a spot that that is is dying. Okay, it's like there's a feeling inside of you that is dying, and you know it, but you're not willing to let it go. Okay. I mean, that's what I see. It's like you know that there's there's no truth to it. You're being dishonest with yourself. And it's you're not happy. You're not happy. It's, it's a time of, like, recuperation this week. You're still trying to contemplate what your next step is. So I'm not going to tell you that new love is coming in if, you, if you're feeling, like, dead inside, okay? It's like I, I'm feeling dead inside, so I'm just going to overindulge and pretend that everything's okay and mask this pain with whatever I can mask it with. Now, there could have been a third-party situation, you know, there could have been. I just, I don't know if I told you that already. Yeah, the thing is, is there's too many burdens. You know that there is. Right now, you're carrying something around that doesn't serve you. That's all there is to it. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time for you to... <clears throat> fulfill your own dreams okay your own wishes there's wish fulfillment here to be had should you free yourself you have to free yourself you have to use the resources within you before <clears throat> before you can reach that ultimate wish fulfillment you have to use all your resources and let something end you need to let yourself go through that period of rest and recuperation and releasing something that no longer serves you before wish fulfillment comes into play you need to look at it as a time of hope a time of healing a time a, a new beginning that leads you towards your wish fulfillment it feels like you guys are really, really holding on to something very, very tightly that doesn't serve you. Mm. And there you are. You know, it came out reversed. I should have just left it there, left it reversed. But I flipped it around because this is who you want to be. This is who you want to be. You want your fire to be lit again. You want to vibrate highly. You want to shine. You you want you need to bring your self-confidence back. You need to bring your courage back. You need to bring your flame back. Right now, you've been feeling down. It feels like your fire's been put out. You create your own future. You create it. All right, for you to have the ultimate wish fulfillment, you have to use your resources to light your own fire. It's definitely a time of healing right now. This is healing, and this is healing. You have a, you have to go through a period of healing and peace of mind. for wish fulfillment okay to fulfill your wishes you have to take action this is taking action right now i feel like you're you're very sullen you know very woe is me i you know poor poor me and i'm sorry to say that poor me but you have the power to change this feeling to change this thought to to create your future but it's in your hands it's in your hands I don't see new love coming in. I don't. I'm sorry to tell you that. I feel like right now it's all about you working on yourself, shedding the old, being willing to shed the old. That's what the magician says. Taking action in regards to your dreams and your wishes. If you really want to fulfill your wishes and follow your dreams, then you have to take action. If you take action, it will lead you towards your soulmate. But you must take action. 
If you don't take action and you wait for nothing to happen, nothing is going to happen. Once you let go of something that is no longer serves you, that's when you're going to meet your soulmate. If you're with somebody and you're happy, great, this reading isn't for you. Maybe you need to let go of animosity. Maybe you need to let go of something that is holding you back from that ultimate connection with your soulmate. You're holding on to something, Leo, and it's affecting your soulmate relationship. Interesting. Interesting. Deception is the first card. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is it, Leo? Who is it that's wearing the mask? Apparently I lost my book. You know who it is. Somebody's definitely wearing a mask. They're faking this whole thing. 42, I'm going to read it. This is a good card <coughs> for this situation. Woman holding a coin. A female connection in money, health, or value. Now this card can mean so many things. Okay. The ele elegantly dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair. For many of it, this you, this is you. Seriously. The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. Huh. Interesting, huh? When the card comes upright in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly into, the, into a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or, or health. Somebody could be looking to you for security. I'm going to finish reading it. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money, or it may be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even a possibility of a new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business. This card can also signify that someone is looking to you for security and stability and financial abundance. So anyway, Leo, and this could, if you are a man watching this, this could signify that you could meet a woman that is wealthy. You could meet a wealthy woman as your soulmate, okay? Because they all, all these cards, they mean so many things. But somebody is absolutely deceiving themselves by staying in a situation that is dead. It could just be a thought that needs to go, okay? This is what I have, Leo. Talk to you later.